Hello everybody, my name is Gadema. Welcome back for another video of Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale game. I'm very excited. I just woke up and saw that the new episode came out. And I'm so excited to play this game for you guys, so let's do this shit. You're nearly there, Peter. I doubt that's her. That's just a vision. I really doubt it. So we are still in the tunnel, trying to figure out what's going on. She probably sees something else. You know, it's probably one of these caves. Or one of these places. No music and everything. That's an interesting way to set up the newest episode, boys. Or going to into the past too. That's gonna be really interesting, boys. I I got it. I got a feeling this episode's gonna be great. I love these games, boys. I love the Telltale games. Another headache. <laughs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. <laughs> no dice, Mom. You gotta love me for who I am. <laughs> oh, I do. Sometimes against my better judgment. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, what's up? Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Ah, sure. You give me a new one? Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? Uh, she's doing fine, not feeling so well. Not feeling so well. She's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is gonna make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. I hear you. Besides, come back in about an hour and it'll be ready. Alright, cool. That's nice. Hey, Petey! Who is this guy? Make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> so what if I did? You got some kind of problem with that? I got a problem with you. All right. I'm gonna we're gonna fight. Again. I have I'm a feeling we're gonna fight, again. boys. <laughs> Listen to you, pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. All right. That's enough, my guy. You don't want to face me. You, you anyway? really don't. You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on. Take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna if you're asking for it. Huh? I mean, you asked for it, buddy. You want me to hit you? I'm gonna hit you. Oh, wait right now there. That doesn't belong to you. You can't do that. You're pissing me off, buddy. Spear! Bitch! Uh. Bitch! How about this one? Peter! What? He's the one who started it. What did you do? Nothing. Peter, he started it. This wasn't my fault. He started it. And you could have stopped it. It's, that's what I did. I okay. stopped it. I think he might have broken my jaw. Oh, you're gonna cry, this, Peter. Go back I to your mama, my guy. Try not to fight. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this poor boy. Mom. Mom. <coughs> Mom. Uh, what is? Oh. She's having really a tough time. An ambulance. So close, Peter. What the? That's so creepy, my guy. Stop doing that face to me, man. I don't know why the mom's so creepy at times. <sighs> what the? All right, where well, we are in the f more than a feeling. All right, we're in the forest now. That's just weird. 
let's see what's gonna happen boys i'm really excited like i said before to play this game for you guys i really enjoy the telltale games especially the guardians of the galaxy one where i can uh, it's not like the others the others i play as my pretty much this one it's not over it's kind of a mix a mix i'm trying to be there the, the, to act like the real peter quill and to act like me at the same time it's kind of a mix it's a change so what did she see what did she saw because i saw my mother but it's no guarantee that she saw the same thing she probably saw something else hey <laughs> saw my mom again she said I'm close this temple is really messing with my head <laughs> hello Gamora she's me it's messing with her head too Gamora. come on what? Nebula what are you doing you can do better than she's that. dreaming about Nebula fuck not Nebula it's me Peter who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill you want to chill man what are you doing? You better calm down, Gamora. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, fuck. Gamora. This is not good, boys. Oh, my God. Press. Press Y. There we go. Focus, Nebula. Oh, we are in our visions now. That's really not Do good. We're fighting Peter Quill right now. Perception. It's just a vision, uh, Gamora. Come on. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. You're not ready yet, Nebula. You still have a lot to learn. Oh, really? Is that what you think? How is she gonna remember that? She's a dream! What does that mean? Whoa, watch out! <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> like, like hell. <laughs> Looks like we're fighting Nebula. It's a kind of a past sequence. Oh boy, I'm back. I had to sneeze in the middle of the fight. What is this? My nose is working against me, my boy. A little impressive. <laughs> Just a little. Alright, let's see what we're gonna have to do. Press A really fast. I'm so bad at these. I don't have a, a strong tongue to do that. Let her win. I'm not gonna let her win. I have a pride myself, you know. Father. What the? Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> She's come a long way. The, I'm the best teacher. Yeah, I'm the well, best teacher. She does have the best teacher. I wouldn't expect anything less. And yet Nebula is the one who disarmed you. Perhaps the teacher might learn from the student. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. As you wish. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. If you say so. I'm still doing a mission. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold. Distant. We will not disappoint you, father. But you already have, Gamora. You're giving me no chance, my guy. Chill out. You not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. I mean, if you don't give me any chance, Gamora, what can I do? I know you no longer care. But if you fail, 
Your sister will pay for your missteps. I see. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? Father wishes to speak with you, my guy. Don't worry about it. He wants to talk to you. Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Yeah. Go ahead. Must be because Gamora is green for some reason. So for some reason Thanos doesn't like green people. I don't get it. He's like, green people are for losers. I like blue better. It's like, what the fuck? That's how the that's the whole storyline right there. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck, Nebula. I don't need luck. You train me for this. I won't let you or father down. Don't worry about it. If you do your job, if I do my job, everything's gonna be Let's fine. Let's do this. Let's do this, boys. It's gonna be cool as fuck. We get to play a mission that uh, Gamora and Ebola did in previous past. In the past, that's pretty cool. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Steal him from the crease. Alright, we cannot fuck this up, boys. If we fuck this up, then that means that Nebula is going to be the one that is going to be punished for it. Which I don't mind. It's just for my pr personal pride also. I don't want to fail this shit. Another down. We got another down. There we go. We got this one. There we go, we got him. Okay, we got to get this shit. No, you don't. He's down, all right. Kill this guy. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, it's his leg. There we go, we got it. Nebula. That's not our mission, man. All right, kill him then. Why not? I guess that was not our mission, though. We should, we weren't, we weren't supposed Nebula. to kill that guy. It was Nebula's, Nebula's job. Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill, and you took it from me. The father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos. Don't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it the to me. The fuck are you giving? No. Really? I'm not asking here. Don't I'm gonna refuse. I'm not giving you no, shit. That's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you? Motherfucker! That's not how it's supposed to boo. Go. She isn't supposed to kill me. What is this? Uh. Well, shit. What's gonna happen now? She died in her dream. What does that even mean? <sighs> I think she's okay. That was... I mean, her dream just... Her, her dream just got corrupted. I don't know what's all of that about. What the hell, man? 
You slapped you me. Slap me too. What? Stop slapping me. Slap fight. I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's mm. not the way to do it. Well, apparently <laughs> this is just ridiculous, boys. Stop. Stop slapping me. <laughs> Stop slapping me. Stop it. Stop it, man. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. It's so funny, boys. And the prince, oh, fuck. Again. Don't do that again. That was so funny, boys. I the most ridiculous know. fight ever. One minute you I love it. Walking into the temple, and the next yeah, was... I uh, I know. Wait, were you? Did you see all that? My memory. Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day, because I really want to fix things with Nebula. Well, didn't you die that day? It's what the, what happened? She thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. Sure. Maybe it was a mistake to step in like you did. But you can't just keep beating yourself up forever over it. No. <laughs> I have Nebula to do that for me. That last moment. It became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Despite Thanos. Despite everything. We had each other. Maybe. Maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. You can't change the past, Gamora. She is who she is. That's exactly it, Peter. Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. You did not fail or she failed you. I'm worried about you. You keep thinking stuff like this, it's gonna drive you crazy. And we've already got enough crazy on this team. This is true. Thanks, Peter. Don't worry about it. We don't need any more crazy people, that's for sure. Let's figure out why the I mean, she's not the one who failed. Even more. Nibola. Nibola is the one who failed her. Weird. Oh man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non stop. What is going on, boys? What's gonna happen now? We're in the forest. There's some music going on, and there's the church. Alright, this is just. Peter, wait. This place. It seems to be using our memories against us. Yeah, pretty much. We gotta be careful. What we'll find inside. Or why it's been drawing us here. You'll protect me. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything and it's super worrying. Yeah, it's that's kind of worrying. Before. The fact that you didn't say shit. You're not gonna protect me, please? Alright, we are in the church, it looks like. This is not gonna be fun, boys. We're gonna have lots of different memories. It's, looks like this episode's probably gonna be only like all about the memories of Gamora and Peter Quill. It's all about gonna be an expansion on these characters. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom lived. This is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Uh, only one way to know. Only one way to find out.
I'm not all into this resurrection bullshit, so... Let's just go over there and see what's gonna happen. I mean... In the f movies, the father was back. It turns out he was a god and he was the one who killed the... The... The mom, so... I don't know what's gonna happen if the mom gets back. That's gonna be even uh, worse, probably. Christ, that music is so loud, boys! <laughs> Alright. We got over there. What now? Mom? What? Here comes the dreams! This is not good, boys. Oh fuck, here we go, here comes the dreams, boys. Or maybe not. Maybe this is the real world. Where are we? I'm s I don't even know myself, boys. I'm beginning to get crazy here. I don't even know what's going on. Who is that? <laughs> Jesus fuck! Who's that? Who are you? Oh, that's that girl! You have known me for a while now. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. That's the girl who works for his dad. You came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Oh, Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been centuries. No. Only one name. You don't know me personally, so call me Star-Lord. Oh, I see. Star-Lord baby. No, that, that's... <laughs> fuck. All right. No, it's just it's just Star Lord. Legendary outlaw. Why does this never work? Damn it, man. <laughs> so funny, boys. I love it. Does that mean the f is that, does that mean his father is going to be here? Thank you. May I borrow that? <clears throat> Um you're gone. It will only be for a moment. No. Yeah. That's not going to happen. <sighs> Very well then. Wow. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> It is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. The question is, why that to why was that tomb? Uh why were you in there? Truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. I I, I know I am handsome, I am brave, but you gotta chill, my guy. Ha! You must have many questions for me. She thinks she's the princess right now. Take your time. So these, uh, legends about me. What are they? I mean, I know a few already, but, uh, this one might be new. Yeah, this one might be new. Oh, how unexpected. I have been waiting for you all this time. Did you? Were you? The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one. Oh, she thinks I'm the celestial one. She thinks I'm the, I'm my father. The only way I could, through your memories. The ones I'm not my father. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Yes, you should be proud of freeing me. <laughs> All right, 
She's reading my mind right now. Into the infinite crushing darkness. I'm gonna be uh it was so boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh no. Never mind. Maybe She's she'll... jealous. Gamora's jealous. Please. I mean no harm. Why? Yeah, do that again, man. Do it again, do it again. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's so fun, man. Oh, this isn't going to go well. I love that girl. Think dirty faults, man. Oh. Uh, what emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. <laughs> See. Woohoo! I'm such a dumbass. I love it. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Oh, she's yeah. gonna keep. Oh, uh, yeah, that's her with Drax and everything. That would be awesome. Who should we try on first? Oh, Drax, for sure, for sure. I got just the one. Drax, her with Drax is gonna be funny. It's gonna be so funny. What is this? Why are her head tentacles glowing? <laughs> Already, man. The big green tattoo man is filled with sadness. What? No. He lacks direction. I do not lack direction. Only once have I required him. <laughs> he uh, look at this guy already. This is an empath. I I'm gonna love these boys. Sense your emotions. I do not show emotion. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you. We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Apparently I'm the Celestial she One. She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? What? Oh, I can explain. Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumble? <laughs> this is gonna be so long. She's gonna tell a story, really? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Well, I, for one, wanna hear it. I wanna hear it. All of it. I don't wanna I skip the backstory. Let's go. I wanna hear that. Of course, Star Lord Baby. Star Lord Baby. Oh my god. Feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mom. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> the, your mouth. Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, lightly. So I was brought in to ensure that the Forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited, and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, that's only that's the beginning. All right. I thought that was the okay. Hmm. What an interesting relevant story. story. Really relevant. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm going to blast you out in airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. <laughs> Come on, Rocket. Celestial one. Don't you like stories? Who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge? This celestial one. What are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. I don't know if that. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. Describes me That's... perfectly. <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, hey I can't do all that. Knock it off, man. It is not funny. Peter is the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. You said right now. now Could it be fixed? Be different later. Yes, you can change everything. Nice. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. Let's unlock this shit. You should know. This power comes with a price. <sighs> Saw that coming. Life energy cannot be made. It must be. Oh Christ. So someone still has to die. Yeah, someone has to die. So someone dies every time I re I re uh, someone yells get all. Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Paula wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy it. Until my family is returned to me. Oh, come on now. Come on, guys. On my side. One at a time. Rocket is the first in line. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. Just like to us. Okay, not cool, man. Don't lie to us. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. Oh, and lying to you, that was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Right now, I'm leaning towards using it. I wanna use it. Oh, <sighs> I wanna use it. Rocket deserves it. We are at all this way on the other planet to well, we'll for Rocket. We're gonna do it again. The shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. Cool. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. <laughs> emotionally unavailable. All right. What's up, lady? Mimic her. You have soft hands. I'm gonna make mimic her. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. All right, right then. I thought it could work. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. Well, we need to be alone. To you for guidance. Help them. I need to guide them, alright, I need to help them with their emotions and whatnot, which is gonna be interesting, so we're gonna do this on the last episode, uh, on the next episode, boys, so I hope you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, keep it easy, boys!